Ooh, what's in that? Is that poop? Four boxes, one palette, and it is what I refer to as my hodgepodge palettes. And lots of times, these are the most profitable palettes you can buy because the kinds of items that could be in these four boxes are completely random when it comes to housewares, electronics, toys, home goods, tools, you name it, it could be in it. It, it can get kind of interesting sometimes. So, the total value of all four boxes, according to Amazon.com full MSRP, if everything was new, but these are customer returns. Most of them, there will be some new, some warehouse damaged, but the full MSRP, $1,517. What I paid though, $151. 10%, that's my goal. My personal liquidation pallet goal is 10% or less but you can't always get the or less part. But 10%, perfect, right on the right on the dot. So this is pretty much like a win-win situation. It's gonna be pretty much impossible to lose money on this because at 10%, three of these boxes could be total trash. And one box should be able to get my money back plus a little bit, you know, of extra profit. So no matter what, it's gonna be good. So here we go, first box out of all four. <laughs> this is interesting. This looks like a, uh... okay. This thing is kind of destroyed and used, but we have a 36 inch inflatable airbag Duck Dome. It's pretty heavily used and dirty. It even has some mold growing on it right here. So, first item, that's going to be trash. Not the best way to start, but it can only go up uphill from here, hopefully. Let's find out. Next item. This looks much better, but it's glass. And sometimes glass is broken, but I don't know. This first box though looks interesting. Lots of very different. I just totally cut through that box. I need to pay attention to what I'm doing. But uh, yeah, that's the beauty of hodgepodge palettes is such random stuff. But they're fun. Come on, don't be broken. So much glass is broken in liquidation pallets. Is it? Uh, hold on. Tape. Tape. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. One more second. It doesn't look broken. First impression. It's it's used. There's dried. Looks like brown dark colored wine was used in this. So that one was used, but I could just wash stuff pretty easily, dry it and make it look fantastic. And this one has fingerprints all over it. Doesn't really look used. If it was used, it was washed. But, so these two things, um, I'll have to, I'll just go ahead and wash them both. And you know, once you wash them, dry them, they will look like 9.9 .9 out of 10 condition. So like these I would sell like new condition. This is a Chambong. Rapid Champagne Consumption. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, literally just put mouth over stem and then lift and drink until empty. So I have no clue that has much value to it. That could be $10, that could be $30. I'll update below what price that might be. So next we have a universal fit decor decorative tank lever for your toilet. Looks like this was opened up, but it doesn't look installed. Looks like the person on the back, they just cut it open and kind of changed their mind on it. So something like this in that condition, like toilet parts are a hard sell since I'm not like a toilet specialty kind of reseller. I don't have like a toilet store, you know, like a bathroom store or whatever. But like I'd probably try to get like 10 bucks out of that, maybe a little bit more. This is nice. This is brand new. It's not even damaged. We got a nice picture frame. Brand is Casual Comforts 5x7. There's no damage to the frame. Nothing. So, something like this. Maybe like, what, 8, 10 bucks or so? Maybe. And then we've got a little crock pot. A mini crock pot. Yeah, it's used. It's got water spots on it, so at least it was washed before it got returned. But a used mini crock pot without the original box, something like this, I probably put it into my shop for like eight dollars, maybe. I think new, it's like fifteen dollars new, so I'd go like half price. See if I can sell it for that. Let's see if I can sell it for that. Oh, here's a knife sharpening stone. I already have a knife sharpener though, so I don't really need I don't really need this. But a knife sharpening stone. Eh. I'm not even sure how much it even sells for. I'll update below on that. That's kind of nifty though. T this looks kind of fancy. Let me open this. This is just a Amazon poly bag. Not factory sealed or anything like that. Ooh, this package is falling apart though. There's the top of it. The brand is T Forte Noir. Loose tea by the cup, our simple three in one system. This looks like some kind of a tea maker or something. There's the lid. Best way? I told this tip a hundred times for coffee, tea, just smell it. If it's if it if it smells like tea or coffee, it's used. Because it is almost impossible to get that used smell out of your, your out of out of your coffee and your tea stuff. But uh, oh, I'm about to say this thing does not smell used, but I see why they, why they returned it though. There is a huge chunk missing from the side of this glass cup. So yeah, you can't use that. That's sharp. So, unless if I could sell these two pieces for parts, which I might be able to actually, I'd have to check eBay, see if people are paying just for a lid and just for like the little uh, filter thing. Maybe I can piece those two things out. Maybe, I don't know. But next. some kind of bucket and of course it's taped beyond belief what kind of bucket are you it smells <laughs> oh, that smells really bad I don't know what the person used that for but man, that smells really bad. I can't even place that smell, but oof, that stunk. I don't know if I'm even, even gonna sell that thing. That's gonna take some deep cleaning and even deep cleaned, I probably won't get much more than like five, 10 bucks out of it. So I'll probably won't even, I'll probably just go, I don't know. I probably won't even sell it. Next, we got a crock pot. 
or like an elite gourmet crock pot brand. 1.5 core. These I sell for like 12 bucks. I have to see what kind of condition this thing in. So if it is used, it'll be about 12. If it's new, it'll be about 18-ish. I'll update below and that will tell you the condition of it. Next, this box feels empty. It's just a brown box. Well, there's stuff in it. Oh, now we go to toys. Hodgepodge. So we have a VTech child smartwatch. These actually have decent value to them. There's the charger for it. It's got instructions. Want to charge up, make sure it works. This is the model. Oh, it's, it's actually the DX2 also. It's actually a decent model. I think I've been selling these for like 25 to 30 bucks a piece used. And this watch, it's actually... No, it's not factory sealed. It's just taped on the top. But uh, but I say, I think it's factory sealed. It needs charge. It's totally dead. But the back of it still has like the the tape on the back of it that you take off before you wear it. So that's probably a good 25, 30 bucks for that watch. But I gotta charge it up, make sure it works okay, you know, before I ever sold it. Few things left in this one. We got a Honeywell Home non-programmable thermostat that sounds interesting just the screws maybe yeah it's the screws are loose I uh, can't tell that's been used or not there's a thermostat it can't be too expensive non-programmable -pro very basic. Came much more like maybe like 15 bucks, I bet. Possibly used, maybe. Next we have, we got three things left in box number one. We've got Catch Orange Nitro Powder Free Glove, size large, extra thick. So an entire box of very thick, large gloves. Those are a good, probably $10 course plus shipping most of these prices I'm quoting does not include shipping it's just the price it's selling for shipping all depends on the buyer's location sometimes shipping can be free sometimes it'll cost it just depends on the location and then the size and the weight of the item that's being shipped next we got an uber heat ceramic technology I'm going to try that thing out. At first I thought it was it was possibly a speaker, like a Bluetooth speaker, but no, it's a heater. So I'm going to try that thing out, see if that thing works. But a Honeywell heater? Uber Heat Ceramic Technology? Sounds fancy, though. we got a PetSmart multi-tier pet fountain. So you got the hodgepodge. We've had everything but pet stuff so far, I think. So might as well throw in some pet stuff. And this doesn't look like it's used. Looks like it's possibly new. So this might be a good 20, 25 bucks, I bet, for this pet found. So let me box up all this stuff. I'll be right back with box number two. Number two, keep it going. So I think first box, it's possible that maybe I got my money back or very close to it. Possibly. So let's see what kind of goodies are in box two. Start off with a heater. My heat, little personal heater. These I sell for about $8 or so. They sell very quickly too. They don't last very long. Then Ziploc space bag. It's still new. Two medium flat clothing space lock bags. I'm not sure prices on this. Maybe like a few bucks a bag, I bet. So this might be like, what, four or five dollars for this box? Maybe? I'm not totally sure what the price of that might actually be. Then we got a power air circulator. Haven't had one of these things since like early last fall. This, this uh, actual air circulator, it's been a while. But they usually work 
this brand, this model usually does work. It doesn't usually burn up. A lot of uh, heaters, air circulators, fans, some of them tend to burn up. You can usually smell them whenever you get them because they just smell different. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'll try it out, make sure it works. But some like this won't sell very quickly yet because it's too cold. But here in a few months, like I would probably sell us probably in the shop because of the size of it. I'd probably sell it for like $12, $15 in that range. It would sell pretty quickly. Huh, are you serious? We have an entire box of toe warmers. <laughs> I've gotten hand warmers before in my liquidation pallets. I've never gotten a whole box of toe warmers though. That's actually a first. How many is in here? I don't see a count. The box is very full. I might say this whole box has to be at least like what, 20, 30 bucks for this entire box, I bet? That's very different. That's you just don't get stuff like that. Base gel absorbs 40 gallons of water, making a firm, stable gel. So, so this goes into your basketball goal. One 16-ounce bottle replaces up to 400 pounds of sand. Really? I didn't know they even made this stuff. So you put this into your basketball goal base. Put 16 ounces of water in it, and then it creates this gel stuff. It fills it up. That's kind of interesting. Maybe like 10 bucks or so. I'm not even sure. Interesting. Next, we have a water bottle without the cap. It's kind of a nice one, too. It has a nice leather. Might be pleather. I don't think it's, yeah, it's probably pleather. Holder, and but it's missing its cap. It's an issue. Well, something like this, I'd probably just sell my shop, put into my dollar boxes, because that, that's gonna be very hard to sell without the cap. Maybe someone wants to buy it who doesn't care about is missing the cap. The next we got the zero water. Lots of times, People return these things because they just want to keep the water filter. And that's actually why they buy it, is just to get a new water filter out. The person left a note in it. Huh. <laughs> no filter return. Contaminated. Discarded the filter. <laughs> so. They bought it, and then they returned it because the filter was contaminated. Now, you just wanted a filter for free because the filters are what usually cost more than what the pictures cost. So, yeah, the person just told Amazon that the filter was contaminated, so they discarded the filter, but we'll return the brand new actual picture still so it's kind of what i figured it's usually what happens with, with with these things so man this this is pretty much honestly it's almost unsellable without the filter nobody's gonna buy it Ooh, look at this chewbacca ceramic cookie jar as long as this is not broken this could be incredibly cool So there's the cookie jar. The lid on top of it is loose. The lid does have a few chips on it, probably because it was loose and flopping around the whole time. I guess it's like a little gander at Chewbacca. Chewbacca? So it's actually, it's in fantastic shape, but it looks like since this lid in the packaging, it wasn't really uh, clamped down or tied down onto Chewbacca's top of his head. It kind of flopped around and it got some chips in it. 
during shipping has got some chips so that's why the person that's probably why they returned it so brand new but I mean if if the heads on you can't the chips are actually are, are in the back of it like here and here you can't even really even see the chips so but that's actually ultra cool I have no clue if it has any value to it I'm sure it does though like I probably sell it in the shop just 20 25 bucks or so maybe but anyway let me box up box number two we'll be right back with box number three number three so far out of the first two boxes like the coolest items the Chewbacca cookie jar is the coolest one but the most profitable I don't think we've actually gotten the most profitable one out yet because I think like the most profitable thing so far we've seen some things that are like what 20 30 bucks or so but I mean it hasn't been bad I mean I'm in profit that's guaranteed profit so number three Start off with an RITC, kind of like a cheaper brand of a Yeti cooler. Or a like thermos mug thing. That's 100% brand new. And I will probably, honestly, will keep this one. More than likely. Because you can always use more, you know, Yetis or RTICs. Always use more. The next, this has tags on it still. I can't tell what it is. It is poly bagged, which means nothing. Just means Amazon put a poly bag on it. It's like a gift box. That could be a good sign. It says for you. Jewelry? Oh, whatever it is, it is broken in many, many pieces. Yeah, it was some kind of glass object, like porcelain, and it's just broken in pieces. Yeah, so that's, that's going to be trash. Happens, this is liquidations. The next we've got, is this clothes? Yep, I think... We got clothes. Hodgepodge palette. Anything is possible. Or these snow pants, I think. Yes, ooh, these are actually some nice ones too. These are Arctic snow pants. Women's snow pants size medium. It's a good brand, actually. Check for any kind of cuts or anything on it. Buttons there. Zipper works. Tags are attached. That's freaking fantastic. So women's snow pants, size medium, brand new. Brand is Arctics. I think these go for at least probably about 30 bucks, I bet. I've sold this brand before, several times actually. Next we have dual flush to ensure your fresh water supply is always clean. Install an anti-siphon valve vacuum breaker at the water faucet before use. So I guess this attaches this to the faucet and gives you fresh water. <coughs> Maybe five, ten, ten bucks or so. Oh, here's a Kate Spade box. There's a watch inside. What is this? I think the battery's dead. We've got some kind of a Kate Spade watch right here. Wear OS by Google. Yeah. Oh, here, there's, or there's the charger. Kate Spade model DW5K1. Let me actually look this up real quick. Actually, let me charge this for like five minutes while I look this thing up. See if I can get a decent charge of this. See if I can even get this thing to turn on. And I'll be right back. Okay. So I let it charge for the, or actually for about 10 minutes. And the phone, the phone, the watch does work. Not sure it's going to show up on my camera very well, but it does work. 
uh, I just set it to uh, English United States and now it's ready to uh, connect with the cell phone by downloading your uh, your app so like this watch does look like I mean it doesn't look used there's no scratches on it there's no marks there there's I mean maybe it was tried on a few times or something but I mean it's in fantastic shape it says the band is a size 16 on Amazon this watch sells for new $185 and I looked at used prices sold prices and it sells used for on like an eBay and Amazon for about 150 on average so this watch actually just paid for the entire palette used that's probably about $150 in that range so whole palette is paid for with that one item can't beat that next we got catchmaster pro strength glue boards mouse and insect factory sealed case can't beat that so factory sealed case of 75 traps catch master glue boards 20 25 bucks i bet then we've got some more clothes no or this is a halloween costume Yeah, that one smells like a wet dog. It's a Halloween costume for a dog. And it smells like a wet dog. Yeah, that that stinks. So I'm just... That's going to the trash. That smells bad. Next, we've got a Germ Guardian right underneath of the stinky dog costume. So this open package item, I think it's like 10, 15 bucks for that. Cell cast acrylic sheet, 10 by 10 acrylic sheet. I don't know about that. Then we have microwave container for your food, like a microwave steamer. Yeah, like five, six bucks, not too expensive. Ooh, what's in that? What in the world is in that? Is that poop? Yeah. It looks, it looks like poop. It's a ball of poop. So somebody returned to Amazon. It's in like a uh, stay fresh, like vacuum, like this, like a Tupperware little container. And inside of it, it's, it's poop. That's disgusting. And it's poly bagged by Amazon. <laughs> like I'm not taking this thing out of the poly bag. And no. Oh yeah. That's disgusting. How in the heck did Amazon the employee liquidate this? Like whenever they saw it they should have been like, "Oh, that's disgusting. We can't liquidate this." Somebody returned to Amazon a ball of like a, like a cylindrical ball of poop. But we can't liquidate this, but they did. This is the second time that I've received poop in a liquidation from Amazon. 
That's disgusting. Wow. But at least the thing is, it's in a container and Amazon poly bagged it, so there's no like way to get any kind of germs or anything. But just in case. So on this YouTube channel, twice in the past, like what, four or five months? Maybe six, I think about four or five months, you've seen me get out literally poop in my liquidations that Amazon liquidates and then it goes to a liquidator. I don't know how that doesn't get stopped and how, how does that get through several people along the way? It, it blows my mind, but that's disgusting. So that's the liquidation business. Sometimes you'll literally get poop in your box. It happens. Next, we've got Copco, a coffee cup. I can see dried coffee inside the hole. So that's used. A used coffee cup. I'm happy, or I'm lucky to get like a dollar for it. And we've got a genuine replacement part. A little button. Wow, that's going to be like a dollar thing right there. Eight piece steak knife set. Amazon Basics branded steak knife set. That's kind of nice. I've actually, I've received this before in the past. Amazon branded steak knife set. I sold it to a subscriber and I do not remember how much I sold it for. I'm gonna have to research this and figure it out, but eight piece steak knife set. It's a nice, it, it's like a nice knife set too. We got some more clothes, or here we got a scrub top for like nursing or doctors or any kind of healthcare that wear scrubs. Size extra large, tra it's traditional classic black, size extra large, brand is authentic Cherokee workwear. It's probably about 15 bucks or so. From other ones I've sold that, are, that were like it. This is nice. Has been open. It has been opened up, but this is Lacrosse Technology Wireless Forecast Station with the base and the outside temperature little meter gauge thing. So something like this in this condition, that's good. Probably thirty bucks right there. That's nice. Better than getting poop. And this looks like a, oh, it's actually, this is new with tags. Take it out of the poly bag. Totes. Oh, looks like it's a little, it's, oh, it's, it's a poncho. You can put your poncho then into this thing and that holds your poncho. You gotta really fold it up really perfectly to get it into this thing now. There, something like, like that. There, totes, brand new, by about 10 bucks or so. We have a top of a Christmas tree star, five bucks on that. I think it's gonna sit around for months. Thing of batteries, it's missing quite a few. This is probably a 24 pack or a 12 pack, missing some. Um, I'll probably put this into one of my mystery boxes that I sell because I have too many batteries right now. Uh, La Crusette replacement handle for one of their pots. That's probably a good eight, nine dollars or so. Last thing in box number three. Kind of happy. I just can't get that ball of poop off my mind. It's like emblazoned in, in my memory now. I just can't stop thinking about it. Let's see, this is strange looking thing. Looks like a very large belt. Uh, oh, it's a power drive belt. How much does that sell for? D&D &D power drive belt. That could be, that could be kind of pricey. I'll have to research that and find out and uh, update below. Let me box this stuff up. Let me get a drink of water 
and I'll be back. Number four. Hopefully this time there's no surprises in this one. Let's hope for a nice clean box. It looks good. First thing. Oh, this looks like a sheep that goes over your mattress. Yeah, it has the, the stretchy part on it. Got some weird stains on it. It has some orange stains on the sheep. So there's a good chance that I probably won't be selling that <clears throat> due to stains. People aren't, aren't just people aren't gonna buy a white sheep with orange stains on it. And we have a <clears throat> I'm drawing a blank of what the actual what this thing's called. Drawing a blank. The actual like fancy name. But it's missing its it's top. That's like the second thing that I've received in this palette where the top is missing. And that really hurts the value of these items when the top is missing. But I, I'd probably sell this thing. This is very, very... Is it called a decanter? Does, the, does that sound right? A, de, a decanter? Maybe. I don't know. But without the top... I know this thing probably is not cheap either. I guarantee it's not cheap. I'll probably try to sell it for like five bucks. <clears throat> See if I might buy it. Bench scale. Little scale to weigh your stuff. This is probably more of like a food scale, I bet. So that's probably about 15 bucks for that. And then a oh, Leviton. Light switch cover. About five bucks. And we got more clothes. Quite a bit of clothes in this one. Oh, this is the same Arctix brand again. Does this have tags on it? There's where the tag was, but the tag's missing. It's a size 3K. So I think, yeah, this, this is used because you can just kind of smell it. it's been washed. But they used a strange like fabric softener or something. But uh, in used condition, probably not much more than 10 bucks if I'm lucky. Next we got a K and H pet 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 bed warmer. Never seen this. Keep your pet warm. Or you could use it yourself actually. Put it underneath yourself like when you're sitting on the couch if you don't have a pet. That's probably a good 15, 20 bucks, I bet. As long as it works and it's not burned up or anything. Different. Oh, this is a K cup for your Keurig machine. Whenever you actually want to put your own grounds into it, it's missing the original packaging. With the packaging, they sell for about 12 bucks without packaging. Matter of just a few dollars now. It hurts the value a lot without the packaging. Next, we have a Belgian waffle maker. I'll check this thing out later, see what kind of condition this thing is in. So by the price down below, you'll be able to tell if this thing was new or used, but it's a nice waffle maker though. As long as it's not, you know, disgustingly nasty used. And then we got two things left and that's it. This is a electricity and magnetism kit, physics. Different. It's like some kind of like a child's toy. Science Action Labs by Lerber. Yeah, electricity and magnetism kit. Never seen this one before. This brand or this kit. I don't know how much that thing even sells for. But it's probably came much more like $20, $25, I bet. But one thing left and that's it. Last thing, we have a Panini Press by Hamilton Beach. That's a good item. I haven't gotten this thing in a pallet. It's been months since I've received one of these in a pallet. Been a while, but that's a good Panini Press. They sell quickly. Whenever I get them, I put these into my shop because of the size of these boxes. It costs too much to ship. 
So in my shop, I usually charge about $15, $18 for it. Um, if it's used, they'll go for less than that. But yeah, it's a nice item. I'll take that in a heartbeat. That's a fast seller. So that's what we got. That's all four boxes. <clears throat> it was good. I made profit. But I got poop in this box again. Again. That's nasty. But I uh, got a cool Kate Spade watch. That's an expensive watch. It pays for the entire palette. Um, I know I made some decent money off of this. I only paid 151 bucks for all four boxes. So some of these items won't be fast sellers, but some of these will be very fast sellers. So it all just varies. The whole point of the reselling game though is to make money. Pal flipping, you wanna make money. And these four boxes, this one pallet will be profitable. And that's honestly, that's the goal as a pallet flipper is to make money and I will make money. So that's awesome. So thank you very much if you stuck with me this whole time. And you saw realistically pallet flipping that sometimes you can get disgusting items in your palette that it just blows your mind how Amazon or Walmart or Target or Best Buy, how they were able to liquidate items like what you saw in this. Like, why did the person liquidate that? That should have gone straight into the trash. It makes me question just their liquidation process how was that possible? But it happened. And it's nasty. So, anyway, I'll have a new video coming up Thursday. Not sure what kind of video I'm, I'm going to do yet. If it's going to be another hodgepodge or if it's going to be what, I'm not too sure. This coming Saturday, another electronics palette. So stay tuned. I got videos every day planned for the rest of this week. So don't miss anything. And I'll see you soon. I'm out.